One of the things I uh, struggle a lot with is uh, removing the prints from the bed. And uh, I've tried all kinds of things and I've printed in uh, two different surfaces, glass and uh, the magnetic um, uh, surface. But with some uh, filaments, removing this uh, from the bed, it's quite a challenge. Uh, you can uh, whack at it with some tool or uh, um, uh, you can use different techniques to do this. But I found out the absolute best technique to remove any prints from a glass bread, a bed in under 40 seconds. So you can see that the bed is still hot, so 35 degrees. It printed at about 50 degrees. And I'm going to show you in 40 seconds how you can remove this perfectly. So I'm going to first remove the bed from the printer. Hopefully this will come out rather easily. There you go. It's a glass bed and I'm printing on the uh, smooth surface right now. So come with me and I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So let's see. I have um, a magic trick or a magic machine, which is this one right here. This is my freezer. I'm going to take this and pop it inside. Hopefully there is room for it. There you go. And I'm going to wait for about 40 seconds. So it's 1 minute 35. So at about two minutes. Now let's talk about some science here. So why does this work? Um, there are basically three materials involved in this um, process. You have the bed, which is made of glass and it's a smooth surface, so there is no coating on it. Then you have the lac that you use to stick uh, the print and then you have the PLA itself. Now, why popping the glass into the freezer for 40 seconds helps remove the print? And this has to do with physics. The glass is made out of crystals, which means that it's, um, it will contract and expand less when put uh, under different temperatures. The PLA, however, is made out of plastic. So this means that it's, most li it's more likely to contract and expand when you change the temperature. Now, when you put it in the freezer, and the freezer might be at maybe minus 18 or so uh, uh, degrees centigrade, there is a, um, a lot of uh, temperature transfer between the environment and the PLA and the glass itself. So this means that um, there is uh, a change of, uh, there is an expansion, a dilation or a contraction in this case of the PLA that happens faster than the contraction of the glass. And because the bond is made with lacquer, which is a hard bond, so it's not flexible. So the bond between the PLA and the glass cannot flex. This means that the moment that the PLA changes uh, dimensions or contracts for a very small fraction, then uh, the bond is broken between the part and the bed and the part can come out. So now it's about 40 seconds. So we can pop it right out. And you can see now, let's see if I can point to the right place, that I did not even have to pop it. It just came out right away. It takes 40 seconds um, it uses science uh, to do this and if you use this technique you will never ever ever have to whack at a part uh, on your printing bed and this is particularly interesting for uh, thin pieces that you know they tend to stick rather hardly <laughs> to your surface now um, I do think that what's causing the release of the part is the temperature differential or the contraction differential between the glass and the PLA, but it could also be something chemical or uh, temperature uh, related because you put it on the freezer, there's a lot of humidity and maybe the lacquer uh, reacts to that humidity. Uh, if you do have a different theory on why this works, then please write down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I hope that uh, this trick helps you because I've struggled with this a lot. And I'm very happy that I found this technique, which helps me release the parts in 40 seconds, clean the surface, and then keep printing without having to wait for anything. I hope it's useful for you, and thanks for watching.